But we, for a moment, are not going to be traveling with the pterosaurs. But a few miles away, we're going to focus on something. As you can see, a few miles away, a fight is still going on between the Prokos and the Ornithalestes over the carcass of the baby triceratops. They've been courting this carcass for days and they won't give up so easily. The Prokos really wants food. That is what he really wants. They both stand off to each other staring at her. As you can see right now. Dorn is the less she's wants to fight him to see how strong he is. The Prokos is ready to strike. <laughs> One of the lusties has pounced on him and scratches him. <laughs> but the Prokos gets back up. <laughs> but right around the Ornithalestes is about to get up. He gets stomped on by the terror bird's legs. But only the less he struggles to get up because he does not want to lose his fight over his food. So he they they then soon continue to fight. <laughs> One of the Ornithalesti's arms is now broken because of that sharp beak. He struggles. So that arm is now useless to him. He's about to give up on the carcass. But the terror bird might have won this fight. But he will not let this one as unless he's try and get his food again. He then t continues to stomp on him and scratch him like how a hawk would. <laughs> Dorn of the Lusties is now dead. For days, they have been fighting over this carcass and only one has won and the battle has been won by the Protocos. <coughs> he squawks in victory and goes over to his prize to eat. <coughs> we travel back to where we were last time where the terraces were flying while the pterosaurs were, were flying. They are continuing their migration over days. So yeah, they have been flying around for days. <laughs> over the valley and over this grassland. But as they fly, predators still lurk about on the ground. Like this male Dilophosaurus, curiously hungry, looking up at the sky. He just has to wait for terraces to fly low to the ground. And one of them is tricked. The female Dimorphodon has been tricked 
We're seeing probably a rodent, just like the baby pteranodon has. And it has scurried into its burrow. She is digging her head into it. But she is unaware of her attacker. But when he turns around, he notices his prey has landed. <laughs> the screech signals the pterosaurs to go fly down. The, the pterodactylus strikes the Dilophosaurus. He strikes him for revenge for killing the Dimorphodon. <laughs> he hisses at him. He then decides to fly off. <laughs> he starts eating his prize. Although small, it is still a great snack. They fly off. A few hours later, they have entered a jungle. As you can see, it is autumn and some of the leaves have fallen off the trees. And they are flying through it. But the jungles are also full of danger. For on the ground, small predators lurk. These are Zuni Tyrannus, smaller cousins of the T Rex, and hunt in packs. And they are following the pterosaurs as well. And their chosen prey is a female pteranodon. They then look up and then they prepare to strike. and scratches them. One of them. But while she's distracted hurting the, the other one, one of them is right behind her. But help is on the way. <sighs> the two other pterosaurs from the, the flock have come and are cornered 
by the two Zuni Tyrannus. The female now has an attempt to escape with the flock. <laughs> One of them looks behind. <gasps> The pterosaurs decide that it's time to fly off. It wasn't a violent fight. They had a standoff. Now, they have to go hunting elsewhere for something else. They walk away farther in the jungle. The flocks are safe and they continue flying through the jungle. Hours after passing the jungle, they're still flying. <laughs> they didn't realize something. They made it to their location. The male turned on signals the flock <coughs> the land. He lands first, proud of reaching the the migration spot. The rest joins him. They are all happy for joining. Others fly down. Others join him. They have made it to their migration spot destination for the winter. It is now safe. They have been traveling for weeks, days, and hours trying to get here, fighting off predators and dangers and battling the seasons. Although some of them are now gone, these ones will honor them for trying to reach this spot. The pterosaurs have finally made it to their migration destination on Priest Ground. Have a great day. Bye guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Priest Island. The Pterosaur Migration Part 2. 3, 2, 1, go. Bye guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Priest Island. Have a great day. Bye.